Hi, I'm Jane and I'm here to tell you about product development in the food industry. This involves an innovative idea, formulating your product, sensory evaluation and statistics, upscaling your product, distribution and finally good marketing. An innovative idea can pop out of anywhere. The first step to get a broad idea of what you want to create would start by asking people what they would like to see on the market. You can do this by asking your friends for their opinions and also having public surveys to get a rough idea of what people like. Another important way to narrow down your ideas is by doing a market research. Market research involves studying products available on the market. During this, you analyze products for possible improvements or introduce a completely new product to the market. And then comes the fun part of product formulation. For this, apart from knowing how to cook and mix flavors, you need to know the chemistry behind the blending of different ingredients. People may love what you make or people may hate it. To make sure your product is a success, it is important to have people taste it beforehand and fill in a questionnaire. You can evaluate the responses based on statistics and narrow down to a winning recipe. Then comes a part where you upscale your production for marketing. This would require you to plan equipment and ingredients. Preparing a process scheme such as this is a good start. By this step, you would be able to produce large batches of the product that would all have the desired mouthfeel, the required physical chemical properties, and would be processed to be safe and pathogen free. The product is then packed in appropriate containers or packages and stored at the required conditions until transportation. Apart from being a protective covering, it is a bonus if the packaging is eye-catchy and serves the purpose as seen in microwavable meals. The storage and transportation conditions also impact on the quality of the product. And last but not the least is efficient marketing. If you haven't tried an easy cheesy, you have to grab one from the store next door. It's raining now. That's all folks. Hope this video helped you understand more about product development in the food industry. Have a great day ahead of you. Bye bye.